Hey guys, it's Rowan, and this is episode 14 of At A Loss For Words. And I'm just going to run on over to a house over here, and I'm going to get a Sunset Star Sarsaparilla cap that I forgot to pick up. Because it has been bugging the heck out of me. I've laid awake at night thinking about it. Okay, maybe not that bad, but... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go grab this star cap so I can just, uh, <laughs> play in peace. So, I'd like to tell you guys a quick little story. Oh, right, here's the star cap. Um, I went to turn on my computer this morning after I got home from work, and nothing. Uh, it loaded up the uh, motherboard. Then started loading up the hard drives. And then it went to a black screen with a blinking little cursor. A friendly little cursor saying, Hey buddy, your computer's a kaput. Basically. Uh, <laughs> so I was freaking out about it all morning long. Uh, I called a buddy of mine who actually he helped me put my computer together. And, you know, he was basically busy today, but he said he would come over as soon as he could and try and take a look at it. But in the meantime, he told me, he was like, you know, why don't you get on Google and see if you can't find any information? You know, maybe it's something stupid that you can fix yourself. All right. So I, I tried restarting the computer a whole bunch of times, you know, nothing. It just went to the black screen of the blinking cursor. And, you know, I, uh, I did some research on forums and, you know, I read all different kinds of stuff. I saw some information that said, you know, that basically your hard drive's defunct. You know, I'm like, oh my god, I just bought these hard drives. They're brand new. Don't tell me they're kaput. You know, I'm freaking out about it. And, you know, I, I saw other people say, oh, no, no, you know, you're just going to have to do a Windows restore. You're going to lose all your, uh, all your data, though. I'm like, oh, no, that is terrible. I will lose all my save files, and I'm going to have to play through everything again to get up to this point so I can record my episodes. Don't you guys worry. I was prepared to do it if it came to that, too. I was ready to, you know, spend as many hours as it took getting back here. But you know what? You know what? It was something stupid. You know, computers are a lot like women. When there's something wrong with them, good luck trying to figure it out. And the more you try to tinker with it, the more, uh the more you make the problem worse. So, it turns out that my computer, I had plugged a flash drive into it recently. And I hadn't thought nothing of it. Why would I think of the flash drive as being the problem? Apparently, my computer went, hey, you want to boot Windows from flash drive, don't you? Okay. We're going to go ahead and set that up for you, buddy. No worries. And so... Oh, one second. I better take care of these guys. Hi. Sorry, little guy. Oh, large wild dog. These guys aren't here on the PS3 version. So, yeah, apparently... That was the problem. Um, well, I unplugged the flash drive... And it didn't actually fix the cro the problem. So, I, to, to jump back in time a little bit, I thought that, oh, that's not the problem. Well, it, it's what caused the problem in the first place, but unplugging the flash drives wasn't fixing it. Because when I unplugged the flash drives, it went, oh, okay. Well, we need to find a hard drive to boot Windows from. Okay, buddy, let's take a look. Oh, this hard drive looks promising. Let's boot from that one. Oh, you don't have Windows on that one? No problem. Here, stare at a black screen. 
So that's exactly what it was doing. Basically, I had to go into BIOS, change it to setting the proper hard drive as the boot drive, and that was the whole cause of my hours of aggravation and headaches today. Because apparently, Windows thinks it needs to do everything for you, and it, yeah, it decided that, hey, this was a good idea, let's do that. So thank you. Thank you ever so much, Windows. <laughs> uh, well, today, guys, in At A Loss For Words. Ooh, why is this one not a hostile? Well, eh, it's a friendly dog, yes. Um, today in At A Loss For Words, I am going to make nicey nice of the powder gangers. Yeah, I know. I went and you know, massacred them all in Good Springs. But let's have bygones be bygones. Why can't we all just get along? So I'm just going to go and patch things up with the Powder Gangers here. And we'll just we'll pretend like it never happened. So first, I'm just kind of, you know, checking out the outside, you know, the outer edges of the compound here. Grabbing some of the nice loot. Um, I haven't found anything about this place online. I assume other people know about it. I mean, you know, it's just right back here. Oh, hey. On the PS3 version, there's again. never anybody in here. Damn, running Interesting. Smokes again. So, anyway. Yeah, now, there's, there's this nice little cave here full of stuff. To ditch the rope. You guys... You guys quit hitting on Veronica or things are going to get ugly. Oh. Dang it. Sparks! Spark! Did you guys ever see uh, the tick when you were younger? With his mighty battle cry of spoon? Spoon! You eyeballing me? Well, I, that's probably a terrible rendition of his battle cry, but if you've never seen the tick... Uh, yeah, go see, go see some old episodes of The Tick. Awesome cartoon. I swear, cartoons have gone downhill since my childhood. I don't know what we're watching these days, but, man, I mean, some of them are pretty good, but for the most part, I gotta say, not as good as the cartoons I grew up with. Oh, one sec, here, gotta get all these little frickin'... Bombs that they like to toss everywhere. You know, gotta disarm the welcoming committee. So, yeah. Had a lovely day so far. Uh, I actually, I've been meaning to try and backlog a bunch of episodes. Like, film them. And not upload them right away. And basically... So I could start trying to get them out on a really regular basis. Unfortunately, life seems to disagree with my plans and keeps throwing monkey wrenches at me. Plus, we are still working on trying to get everything unpacked still. Yeah, I know. It's been a while, but, you know, we work. You know, we're busy people. We have to spend time together because, you know, the key to a successful relationship is spending time together, yada, yada, yada. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, the best laid plans of, of mice often go awry. Or was it mice and men? No, no, I'm pretty sure it was best laid plans of mice. Um, anyway. So after I get done pacing the perimeter here, I'll be ready to head on in. Now, I don't know if I uh, mentioned this last episode, but when I was filming last, my last... Oh, whoa, don't you do that. Don't you even, buddy. When I was filming my last episode, I actually uh, didn't have my Fallout New Vegas notes. So, when I had to level up, I 
just kind of winged it. To be quite honest with you, I'm not, like, super happy with picking unarmed. But, uh, eventually I'd be leveling up anyway. It's not like I screwed up anything. It's just kind of, you know, a little bit irritating, that's all. Um, it's okay, though. We'll be fine. If you guys, um, want to go and do something different, you're welcome to it. So, um, what I would probably recommend leveling up instead is, hmm, actually, you know what, kind of thinking maybe I did pick the right one. Uh, well, you know what, I'll think about it and I'll get back to you on that. Um, because, yeah, apparently, according to my notes, I did end up doing unarmed at this point. Probably because there's not a whole lot to get right now. Um, I'd like to start leveling up gun skill, but I need to go and do the speech failures related to guns first. And I haven't gotten around to doing those. Um, we'll do those soon now. Never you fear. It's not... It's not going to be too much longer before I go take care of those. Um, I'll just have to, you know, not gain too much experience in the meantime. So, I'm going to mosey on down here. I'm done looting all the perimeter here. Let's see. Veronica, do you have anything interesting to tell them? No? You're always so talkative. Why so quiet today? Well, never mind her. She's, she must be in a bad mood. You know how she gets. She hasn't punched anyone lately, and it's starting to bug her. Hey, hey don't look at me. Don't punch me. <laughs> One punch from that power fist of yours, and I won't be getting back up. I love that. Please do not stand when shots are fired. All right. Let's, let's mosey on in. Play it casual, Veronica. Pretend we're their friends. Let's see, make sure I get everything out here. No, nope, this isn't stealing. Don't want to tick them off quite yet. Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? This is my territory, pal. My territory. What is this, this? place? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. All right, all right. Um, who's the big boss man? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. So... What exactly is a powder ganger? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. You know, it's probably not a good idea to give a whole bunch of uh, murderers, thieves, and other uh, bad eggs a bunch of dynamite. I can't see how that would ever end well. So, what'd you do? Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. Cool, cool. So, why are you sticking around, buddy? We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Well, I gotta agree, it's kind of a big fort. So, can I go into your clubhouse? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. You know what? That doesn't sound right to me. Quit Never wasting you my mind. Time. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, hundred caps. My tuchus. Uh, Veronica, could you give me a boost? No? 
Fine, stand over there. Sulk. Be that way. You'll get to clobber people soon. Jeez. Yes, I know. I I can't help being OCD. I can't. Uh, get the bottles. The bottles. Bottles, Rowan. Bottles, right there. Jumpy, jumpy, get the bottles. Jumpy, jumpy. Thank you. And this side, jumpy, jumpy for the win. All right, fine. You know what? Let's save ourselves 100 caps. Shall we? Yeah. Because, I don't know about you guys, but, well, I guess I have some caps, but. Ooh, he's got some psycho. Take the, the cases, since they're free. Oh, nice. You know what? I'm going to take one shot at getting the psycho. If I don't get it, we'll just move on. Oh, well, all right. Well, fine then. All right, I better stay hidden because I'm not really supposed to be just waltzing on in. All right. We're in. Veronica, at casual. You eyeballing me? Don't mind me. Are you guys eating the food in here? Oh. Hey, I've been sent to tell you that while you're not exactly a friend, we know you've helped us out some all the same. We figure some kind of truce is in order. As long as you don't come too close to any of our camps, we'll let you pass without trying to kill you. Of course, the truce is off once we know you're an enemy. Yay! You guys won't kill me. <laughs> what happens if I hang around too long? Then we'll have to make you leave by force. Your own fault. You understand? I'll keep that in mind. See ya. Alright, you guys don't touch anything. This food is mine! All of it! You guys are mine now! Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Well, I'm always looking for trouble, so... How'd you, uh, end up in here? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade, if you ask me. Well, that's, uh, that's mighty noble of you. So, uh, what happened here? I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Fair enough. So, uh... Who the heck's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Yeah, I know people like that. Um, so where can I find the big G's? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. So, uh, why are you still hanging around? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. True, true. Uh, well, I think you've told me this before, but who's in right charge? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Watch yourself out there. You know what? I've got the guns and dynamite. I call the shots. Well, I, I have a gun. And some dynamite! Me. I call the shots! You guys are working for me now, you hear? You got that? Alright, Veronica. We'll let them... We'll let them digest that. Alright. Right over here is a nice little star cap. Stealing, so, um... We're just gonna... Move it right on over here. Now, I will be going through and... Stealing everything that isn't bolted down in here, but it's really painstaking. It involves a lot of dragging items around the corner into this room. So if you want to go ahead and do that on your own, feel free. Just grab stuff and basically drag it into here. Make sure you're hidden. Pick it up. Um, it's a lot of hard work for small reward. But I leave that up to you guys. All right. So let's see what isn't stealing. 
That's the stuff I'm going to take right now. <laughs> Odds are I'm going to end up stealing something I shouldn't, and everybody's going to start shooting me in the back of the head. Lovely. Alright. Oh, a basketball. You want to play some hoops, Veronica? You want, never mind. You'd, you'd probably just <laughs> break the ball in two. Um, let's see here. What we got over yonder? Uh, nope. Oh, I... So, I'm just gonna uh, worry about looting all this stuff off camera. There's an awful lot of miscellaneous junk bottles and stuff lying all over. I'm just gonna grab the good stuff right now. Yeah, that's the stuff you guys are interested in, right? Show of hands, who wants to see where the good stuff is? Oh yeah, I knew you guys wanted to know where the good stuff is. Alright, let me, let me save quick. Uh, 308 rounds. That, I would consider that the good stuff. Yeah, oh, aha, uh -huh, right there. Ooh, so the empty Nuka Cola bottle I can take freely. Buddy, you are being a pain. Why don't you go on over here, Mr. Balding? Right over there. You go stand there and think about what you did. Think about how you got here. How are you detecting me? Thank you. And you're detecting me. Thank you. Thank you for the water. I'll be on my way now. Bye-bye. Yep. There's a couple more towers. The towers have most of the miscellaneous good loot here. Never gets old when something oh, blows up. This stuff since it's just now there's lying a fine here. looking woman. Just needs to ditch the robe. And you just need to ditch your cranium. Allow me to help you with that? Yeah, I thought so. Alright. Man, so much loose debris. I want to pick it all up. I can't help myself. I want to grab it all. Stuff it in my bags. Alright, super stim pack. That is... What is that sound? What the heck? It's like a body flopping around noise. Hmm. Okay. Whatevs. That's cool, G. Just hearing random... Random corpses flopping around. Alright. Man, I hate tripping over stuff. It always freaks me out. Okay. That is where the big guy is. And let's see. I don't really remember what's in each individual tower, so we're just gonna go check it out one by one. So, I have this idea. And I'm not sure what you guys are gonna think of it. I think it's a pretty cool idea myself, but let's see a, a show of hands on that. So I was thinking that it might be cool to start a new segment on my channel called Subscriber Spotlight. And in that segment, I would like to showcase uh, various subscribers that I feel you know, are particularly active in the community, you know, uh, whether it be uh, getting new people uh, in and viewing the content or whether it be just, you know, having, con you know, constructive comments and uh, or just generally being pretty cool. So I I'd like to um, me? basically pick a subscriber maybe every couple weeks, and then do a special segment, um, basically all for them. Uh, everyone else will get to see it too, no worries there. Uh, what it'll be is, I haven't quite uh, hammered out all the details yet, but my thought process on this is that what I'll do is we can do like either some kind of uh, Skype interview where you know you tell me what your your favorite games are you know what like challenges 
uh, you've completed on games that you're particularly proud of. Just, you know, cool stuff about yourself. So that, you know, basically, uh, I don't know, everyone gets a chance to, to tell a little bit Run about the themselves and, you know, shine, I guess. 15 minutes of fame, or whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, this channel's not, like, super famous or anything right now, but we're growing, and I'm pretty proud of that. And I think this segment would be pretty cool uh, to have down the road. You know, especially if we had, you know, say, like, a 1,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers. You know, just for, like, people that are particularly um, active in the community to get a chance to, to spend some time, you know, hanging with the old Roll, Rowan here. Old Roll Dog. Um, and I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, we could even, what we could do is we could play uh, a multiplayer game together and I could record that. And I'll, during the course of it, I can ask you know, questions about stuff, or you could ask me questions. You know, whatevs. We, I, I haven't quite hammered out the details. But definitely let me know in the comments what you think of that idea. The idea sucks. Well, then, by all means, we don't, we don't need to go through with it. But if you guys like the idea, let me know, because I kind of I think it might be cool. So... There you guys go. It's something to think about, at least. All right. I'm just going to come in here. There's some good stuff in here that I'd you like to pick me? up. Oh, man. Food. No, no, no! I haven't seen a decent Don't! Man come up the road Don't! Don't you do it! No! Oh, snap. Oh. 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 Dang it. Um. Well then. Alright. No, I'm not 100% sure where I was on the looting. Dang, nabbit. Huh. Get... You know, I know it, it's just like an iguana on a stick, but you guys have no idea how much it bothers me when they eat it right in front of me like that. Oh, it just bugs me. Any lawman that Man. comes after me won't have it easy. I should just let it go. Just, just to let it go and just forgot about it, but... Man. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I just got stuck. I'm stuck behind a chair. All right, hang on. Apparently, the the game is trolling me pretty hard right now. Any so man that comes after you guys better not eat easy. anything. Don't touch anything. I mean it. God, jerks. Bunch of jerks. Alright, let me... Let me just grab what's left here. And... I'll do the cell blocks in... Maybe a later episode. Oh, man. I already looted this one. Veronica! Why would you let me do that? Oh, now I'm all confusticated. I don't know what I was doing. Ah... <sighs> Ah! Why? Mundungu! Okay. That's a very obscure reference. You guys wouldn't get the Mundungu thing. Don't try and look it up. You're not going to find anything about it. Uh, it's, it's a thing from my hometown, my group of friends. So, yeah. But trust me. The reference is hilarious. But, yeah, I guess you would have to be there to understand it. So, anyway, 
Let me just get my last tower, and we're going to head on over to the administration and get this show on the road because I have wasted too much time already. Yeah, you know what you guys did. Not going to get stuck on another chair. Not going to get stuck on another chair. Keep repeating that to yourself, Ron. Keep repeating it. Believe it. All right. Let's get out of here before something that horrible goes wrong. I'm, I'm over encumbered. Dang. Run low on smokes I'm again. Over encumbered. Ah! You're making me carry the heavy stuff. Why on. am I over encumbered this time, and not over encumbered last time? I don't understand. I am very confused. Ah! Ah! Why? Oh, why? I tell you. All right. Ooh, getting a little bit of choppiness. Let me let me just check something quick. Yeah. Oh, oh. Shut. Up. All right, we're good. Give it a moment to low or do whatever it was trying to do that was causing the choppiness. All right. We'll just head on over to administration. And nobody better eat anything. I swear. I'll just go in hot. I'll start shooting up the place if I see someone so much as think hey. of scarfing some food. Speaking of which... <gasps> you. You. Get away from my fridge. Bad. Bad! No! Not yours! Need a rolled up newspaper to hit him on the nose with. Okay. Hello? Food lying around. Think you guys, that comes after think me, you guys are gonna try easy. and scarf on me? Um, I'll get this stuff in here a little bit later right now. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, you like that wall, buddy? Yeah, well. Checking it for cracks or something? Hello. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, hey. buddy. All right. Let me talk to this guy here. Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. Uh, sort of a doctor? What the heck is a sort of doctor? I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. It also gives me an excuse to stay out of any raiding parties. The gang can't lose its only doctor now, can it? Yeah, probably would be good to not lose their doctor. So what did you do to end up in here? Medical supplies go for a decent amount of caps in the right markets. I figured the quartermaster wouldn't notice any missing. I was wrong. Well, what did you do before that? Let's see. I've been a farmhand, a bouncer, a bandit, and an NCR trooper. I don't recommend any of them. Ah, well, I'll have to take your recommendation start. So why are you hanging around? The location by the highway makes it a good spot to shake down any travelers passing through. That's why Eddie and the rest are still around. Me, I like having big walls between myself and the wasteland. All right, all right. So uh, how did you guys manage to break out of here? One night? There was a big explosion from the other cell block. I had no idea what was going on, so I took cover in my bunk. When it was all over, the guards were dead and we were free. Most of the other prisoners scattered, but a few of us stuck around, obviously. All right. Well, good story, buddy. Later. All right, Veronica. Let's quit wasting our time with this clown. All right, let's head on up and talk to the big cheese. As I said, there's a lot of stuff to loot, and I will be doing that Evening. a little bit later. Just as long as I have any of the food items that they're going to eat on me. All right. Ooh, look at this big tough guy. Ooh, scary. I got an eye patch. What are you looking at? Hmm, <laughs> what are you looking at? So, why are you called Scrambler? Why? It's because I mess up people so bad they don't know what part goes where when I'm done. Oh, you want to go, Scrambles? You want to go? I'll turn you into an omelet. What did you do to end up in here? 
Not much. Just killed a bunch of people. Maybe a couple kids, too. Whatever. Oh, you are scum. How did you break out? Dynamite. Lots and lots of dynamite. You should have seen the body parts flying everywhere. Yeah, I, uh, I'm glad I didn't see that. Weak stomach. What do you do around here? I keep an eye on my buddy Eddie. Anybody messes with him and I scramble them real good. All right. You better uh -huh. watch yourself because I don't take kindly to threats. You want to go? Scrambles? Evening. Yeah, didn't think so. Alright, you must be the head chancho around here. Alright, so talk to Doll me, Doll said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Oh, Dawes told you he let somebody in, did he? Funny that. I kind of snuck in. Hm. I'd, uh, I'd look into new guards for the front door. What do you need, uh... No, I don't want to ask you that. How'd you end up in this place? Why do you care? Answer, you shouldn't. I don't feel like trading life stories. Well, up yours too, pal. Uh, well, how'd you guys break out anyway? It was all Cook's idea. He and his boys managed to swipe some dynamite and hide it away in their cells. The rest of us just tagged along. Cook's crew headed north while the rest of us stuck around for payback. Alright. Uh, what can you tell me about the prison? The NCR called it a work-release prison. We lucky prisoners got the privilege of fixing up the rail lines and blasting rock for new lines. They got sloppy, though. Some of us managed to hide away some dynamite, and look who's in charge now. Alright. Well, what do you know about Cook? I keep hearing his name, but I need to find out more about this guy. One mean son of a bitch. Really, truly hates the NCR for some reason. And he got a lot of the other guys around to his way of thinking. So where is he now? He and his crew went north. I heard talk about some sort of big plan to get back at the NCR, but haven't seen them since. Big plan? That doesn't sound good. So, what kind of work needs to be done around here? I'm a mercenary sort, and I don't mind doing uh, little dirty deeds for some uh, cold hard cash. This is Powder Ganger territory. My territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? You only want me to deal with Chavez? Or Chavez? Chavez? Whatever! Chavez is the ringleader. Without him, his crew will fall apart, and I don't give a shit about those guys. Uh, I need to think about it. Fuck you for wasting my time, then. Well, back at you, buddy. Yeah, get out of here. Huh. <laughs> That's not what? a good idea. Oh, you think so? You think so? You want to push me? I'm crazy! I'm crazy! I'll just throw all your, your stuff on the floor. You look at this. Rawr! Oh, you know what? I, I, I'm just going to put these back. Because I want to steal them later and... Dang it. Alright, well, you know what? It's on the floor now! Yeah, you see what you made me do? See what you made me do? I'm crazy! Don't mess. What? Alright, what do you need Nothing's done? Nothing's changed. Chavez won't answer to me, but he and this crew operate in my territory. Deal with them. Alright, fine. I'll do it. Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky, and he's careless, he might still be there. All right. Yeah, get out of here. Chavez Hello. is history. Come on, Veronica. Let's go make this problem disappear. Ooh. Right here is a skill book. Speech book right there. Lying congressional style. Make sure you get that. That is important loot. There is other important loot. There is... um. A recipe for powder charges but I'm gonna get that a little bit later because obviously everyone wants to scarf my food all right we're going to head on over and deal with Chavez Chavez share whatever all right here he is ready for this Veronica 
the sky. This guy could just freak out on us and try and kill us at any moment, so. Hold on. Alright, buddy. Never gets old when something blows what up. What do you know? You just walked into the wrong camp, my friend. Hand over everything you've got and we might let you live. No, you hand over everything you've got and I'll possibly consider letting you live. Eddie sent me. That's nothing new. Am I supposed to be impressed? Yes, you are. Alright, here's another speech failure. Because passing this speech check just means he's non-hostile to you and then disappears from the game. I actually prefer failing this one. How about you walk away and I'll do the same. That's way easy on both of us. And then I'll shoot you in the back. Ha ha. Nope, not interested. No caps in letting people walk, you know. Well, in that case, buddy, I'm not going to let you live. Hey. All right. You know what? I'm going to do this the fun way. Machete to the face. Oh, Veronica, you're uh, you're in the way of my machete. Oh, you think you can run? You think you can run? Oh, you ain't going nowhere, buddy. Where are you going? You're going nowhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, get him, Veronica, get him. You're not going anywhere with crippled limbs. Oh, yeah. That'll teach you. And then... Oh, dang it. How am I carrying so Ooh, got much? something good for me? Is it a dress? All right. Here you go, Veronica. Take all this. Hold on to it for me. And don't go tossing my dynamite. I know how you get. I know what you like to do. Here, just hold all this. And don't... Don't get in any trouble. Ooh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Um, give me that varmint rifle. Ooh, back, got Veronica. something good for me? Who told you? Is to it take a dress? Alright. We're gonna go. Uh, if I can figure out keys. Aha! Add the night scope to it. Look at that. Oh, I love that thing. But, as I was about to say, and who's detecting me? Who is detecting me? How am I detected right now? Well, let's. Let's move Chavez up here because it is lunch time. Yeah, I know. Gross, but well, you know, if you just leave it lying around, it's going to get all all stinky. So at least I'm being, um, what's the word? Con conscientious? Ne I don't know. Cons conservation? Uh, something like that. Ugh. Who in the heck is detecting me? Seriously. Stop it. Just stop it. It's rude, and I don't like it. Veronica, are you... You don't count, do you? Veronica, are you detecting me? No, that can't be. Alright, well. Just gonna save, and... Munch, munch. Well... I'll just check my reputations after this, make sure nobody's hostile with me. I think we should be fine here. Although, it really bugs me that it says I'm detected. Not 100% sure on why. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that... I love how the scope actually shows on the weapon. Looks cool. Alright. You guys... Oh. Maybe they're hostile to me now. Let's just run over there quickly. We can always fast travel to the prison. So we took care of Chavez. And... You guys mad about anything? We're cool, right? It's all cool, right? Grab that. Guys, we're, we're, everything's everything's all uh, copacetic here? Yeah? Nobody's, nobody's going to shoot at me right now? We cool, G? We cool? Hey, man. We cool? Yeah. You're not exactly we cool. We cool. 
Alright. Making friends around here. Alright. Oh. What the heck? You guys see that? There is somebody hostile to me. Come on. Oh boy. That is the kind of thing that I didn't want to have to deal with. Wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's see, hmm. if I kill. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. If I kill this jerk, am I going to actually get into any trouble? Why is. Still looking. I'm guessing it's a bug. Oh, man. Is that the one that's hostile? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I just don't want to shoot the wrong one. Oh, man. All right. Let's, let's take it from the top over here. Okay. I don't know what's going on with that. Must be some kind of bug or something. Ah, me and my lousy shooting. Well, we're almost out of time for this episode here today, so we'll uh, we'll go turn in this, and then we might have to call it a day. All right, come on, Veronica. See if we can't possibly figure out what's going on. I'm guessing that's why it says I'm detected. Is that one of the powder gangers have bugged out? Oh, stop it. Stop it. And let's see if I can't remedy the problem before, before going in there. So I really, really don't like these kind of issues. See, save just in case. Don't want to have anything go wrong. Everybody okay in there? Nobody's hostile. All right, looking good so far. Um, you see anybody, Veronica? I don't either. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, there he is. All right, all right. Let's see here. Where? You're friendly. Okay, where's the bad one? Where is he? You, my friend, don't need to get shot. But the other one. Oh, ow! You little... Jerk. Oh, don't you even. Oh, yeah, you come out of cover. Ow. Ow. Bad. Bad car ganger. Come on. Yeah. Veronica, you could help me out here. Oh, everybody's running. Everybody was kung fu fighting. And I can't hit them. Because apparently, balconies provide indestructible cover. About this kung fu fighting. There we For the go. Brotherhood. Let's see, everything all cool now. We good? I think so. Not. What? What? Who's yelling? Whoa! We're all cool, right? Okay. I honestly have no idea what the heck happened there. But I tell you one thing, I am going to go up there and munch munch because that guy is not on my good list. Alright, where are you at? Where you hide? Any lawman that there comes after are. me won't have it easy. Oh, you just stay over there, buddy. You don't, you don't need to see this. Cover your eyes! See no evil, hear no evil, that sort of thing. Taste no evil? I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna go turn this into Eddie, and then I think that'll be the end of episode 14. 
Now, I know I didn't get a lot accomplished today, but I'm going to try and get uh, new episodes up more frequently here. Things are settling down a little bit more. Oh, Veronica, I saw that. You're carrying around dynamite. Ooh, got something right, good for you me? You know what? Is it a dress? Veronica, your privileges have been revoked. Sorry, but you misbehaved. Your privileges are done. Done. Don't pout. You can't have the explosives back. Alright, Eddie, talk to me, man. Saving again. Yeah, I know, I'm a save a like What can you do? What? Well, Chavez has been dealt with. Chavez, share, whatever. I'm happy you cleared that up for me. But we've got another situation to worry about. There's a merchant hanging around near the prison. Something feels funny about him, and I want you to deal with him. Shake him down if he's legit, but if not, take him out. So, what exactly is funny about this merchant? Most people already know we run this territory and are usually in a hurry to get out. Not this guy. It's like he wants us to come get him. Well, I'll yeah, look get into out it. Alright, hey. guys. That is the end of the episode. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate your guys' continued support and encouragement. Hey. It really does make this all worthwhile. And I would definitely like to encourage you, if you're not hey. a subscriber already, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It ain't gonna bite. And besides, Veronica, she, uh, she likes to clobber people. And, you know, I wouldn't want her to clobber you. So, just be careful. She's got a temper. Um... Anyway, if you like this video, please hit it with a like. It helps the channel. So you guys take care. I'll see you next time. Peace out, yo.